For me, playing in a band is one of the best experiences I've had as a musician. Although, it's really difficult to move and dance around together with your bandmates. Because like the drums, the keyboard is a stationary instrument that you need to use a stand for you to use it properly. Luckily for us keyboard players, there's this instrument called the guitar, which enables us to be mobile on stage. And after three years of owning a guitar, it made me think, is owning a guitar or using a guitar really that necessary for us keyboard players? Before we get started, a quick disclaimer though, most of the points I'll be raising during this video are my personal experiences. So, you know, it can help you guys out if ever you're considering and purchasing your own guitar. All right, let's get started with a quick history about the guitar. So let's talk about the origins and how the guitar came to be. So according to my definition, the guitar is a mobile keyboard that usually emulates the shape of a guitar and it has a series of knobs and controls around its neck and its body. These knobs and controls are usually customizable depending on the model that you have. The Moog Liberation, invented by Steve Mazowski, was the very first guitar that was publicly introduced to the public. Now, many can argue that there were earlier versions of a guitar, like the Bassette or the Orphica, but during those times, they weren't called guitars, even though they really look similar to a guitar. So now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about why you want to buy a guitar. First of all, you can dance, move around, and people will look at you on stage because it looks really cool or probably they're just weirded out on what instrument you've got there. The reason for that is the guitar is not a really popular instrument. Sure, for some musicians, they're able to recognize it because they know it exists, but for most people who are your average listeners, they probably haven't heard of what a guitar is. So what I'm trying to say is, compared to the guitar, the bass, or the drums, the guitar is not really that well known because unlike its brother instrument, the keyboard, you are actually able to play less and the guitar is harder to play. So it's like your handicap, but for, let's say, mobility or appearance. So what do I mean by being handicapped while playing the instrument? First of all, you have an instrument strapped around you like a guitar. And for us people who only play the keyboards and haven't played any instrument like the guitar or the bass guitar, it's gonna be difficult for us to play in it or like uncomfortable. So we're not really used to that kind of stance. But one can argue that there are lightweight guitars. But in exchange for that lightweight, some of the keys would probably be smaller than your regular keyboard or maybe it'll have lesser keys, like it's gonna be shorter or it's probably just gonna be a controller. Now, there's nothing bad with any of those examples I gave, but it's gonna be difficult, especially if you're gonna try different types of guitars, because most commercially available guitars out there have different models, different designs, unlike if you compare it to a guitar or a bass guitar where all of it just looks the same. So another thing is most of the time, you'll be playing the guitar with one hand because your other hand will be reserved for holding the neck, pressing the commands, maybe the sustain button or the ribbon, or maybe the octave changers. And some might say you can actually play with two hands. And yeah, that's, I agree. I do that sometimes, but it feels really awkward for me to play the guitar with both of your hands. You'll probably put your hand in a weird position. And also, you'll have to adjust your guitar so it won't be slanted and you'll have to tiptoe so that you can raise your knee so that it can support your guitar while playing with both of your hands. Also, the strap tends to be on the way when you play it with two hands. And this is probably why the guitar is mostly played with synth sounds that only use one hand. And this is why especially when I play live, I either bring tracks with me or additional keyboards. And don't get me started on multi-wielding keyboards. That'll be another topic for another day. I'm not saying that the guitar is a bad instrument. I actually love it. 
and it especially feels right when you do your solos with it. I can especially see it look good for singers who don't really do heavy keyboard playing and it enables them to move around and interact with their band and with their audience. So just keep in mind that it could be a little annoying to learn the guitar, especially if you're already used to the standard keyboard. And a word of advice to the people there who aren't really musicians or would want to be a musician and learn the guitar, I suggest you pick up a keyboard first, learn how to use it, and if you're already used to the regular keyboard, it would be easier for you to pick up the guitar. Alright, so thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next video. Wow.